Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about some of the oldest teas known to man. Now you might think, if, you're, if you've been around the channel for a while, that I'm about to talk to you about various aged teas. But we're going back way further than that. We are going back to the very origin of tea itself, and who knows, maybe even all the way back to Chanel. If you're new to the channel, hey there, I'm Phil from Gen Tea. On this channel, we cover all kinds of awesome topics about Chinese tea. Tea travel, how to brew, and things like today, when we dive into a little bit of history of tea. We also have a web boutique where you can get some of the finest Chinese tea that you will ever try, so be sure to check that out as well. Before we go any further into today's video, let me tell you, I'm no historian. I just find this stuff really interesting and I really wanted to share it with you. That being said, let's dive in. Before we dive into some of these amazing ancient teas, what is it we exactly mean by the oldest tea or the first appearance of tea? It could be a few things. It could be the appearance or the mention of tea in ancient texts or in ancient ledgers. It could also be the discovery of physical leaves in an archaeological finding, or perhaps even uh, finding human contact with tea, maybe even not cultivated tea, just humans interacting with tea. Or it could be a full-on tea garden, or even evidence of tea culture, such as finding teacups, teapots, and other types of ancient teaware. Back in 2016, a paper was published citing the oldest tea known at that time. It was a 2100 year old all bud tea found in the tomb of the Sihan Emperor Jing Di. This is super exciting for a few reasons. First, buds were all the craze even 2100 years ago. I find that totally shocking. Second, the royal family, the emperor, found tea precious enough to be buried with it, to be entombed with it, had a, a big meaning. It has a big meaning. Third, it shows the establishment of tea culture 2,100 years ago. Now, this wouldn't be the kind of tea culture that you and I think of today at all, but there was some kind of a reverence around tea and some kind of a selectivity. Another discovery that truly raised eyebrows was the finding of tea in wooden and metal containers in a tomb at Guru Jiamu in the Zhengzheng Empire in Nagari Prefecture. In Nagari Prefecture. There's a bit of a mouthful. What does all this mean? Well, in short, this tea was found in the Tibetan Empire 1800 years ago. Why is this astonishing? Why is this astonishing? Because prior to this discovery, it was believed that tea was introduced in Tibet, into Tibet around the Tang Dynasty timeframe 400 years later. And for me, what I find truly astonishing is just how early the spread of tea culture started. You may think all this archeological stuff was figured out decades and decades ago. However, a recent publication in 2021 found residue of tea leaf that was either cooked or steeped that was 2,400 years old in a pottery bowl. This find was from, and I'm probably going to butcher the Chinese names here, but I'm going to do my best. But this find was from Zhochang Zhuguo in Shandong province. And it was brought north by the princess from Yueguo. Yes, it was brought north by the princess from Yueguo who became the queen of Zhuguo. The significance here is this pushed the first occurrence of tea and tea culture back another 300 years from the 2016 finding that we talked about at the beginning of the video. So all of these amazing discoveries are pretty cool, but we're nowhere near Shenong. Let's take it back even further and see, see how far back we can go. In Yuyao Tianlongshan ruin, archaeologists unearthed teaware and tea roots. And it wasn't just one or two tea roots. It was a large number of tea roots 
around the living area, clearly planted. This was hard evidence of the cultivation of tea 6,000 years ago. It would be 300 years later that the word tea would start to appear in ancient texts. At the Kwahutiao ruin, archaeologists found a tea seed, an 8,000-year-old tea seed. So if we're going to Che Shenong, look for that first use of tea or the discovery of tea, we're going to have to go back at least that far. I hope you found our little travel through time interesting, fun, and informative. If you like historic videos like this, please leave a comment down below. And if you like the video in general, just leave us a thumbs up if you'd like, and think about subscribing to the channel. It really helps our channel grow. And until next time, keep steeping! You drink water like you drink tea with a slurve. I know, I know, a little fun. And a ah. <laughs>